Hey, and welcome back to my gnarly channel. So, I, I guess these are kind of test videos as well. Um, I'm just throwing together some of my footage. Um, okay, I'm gonna stop saying um, this. This is unscripted. I sometimes I write down notes for myself, but for the most part, I just I just talk unscripted. And um, so I'm just gonna throw some stuff in the background. And I wanted to. It's. I say nine days of Arley because my birthday is October 9th and I just like to be like, yeah, it's nine days of my birthday, but that really had nothing to do with me posting videos for every day until the 9th. I wasn't realistically probably going to be able to do that, but this isn't my about me video or anything. Um, just, um, oh no, I said it again. I'm going to be 30. It's, uh, does all count? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. So, so is just as bad. <laughs> there are a lot of videos I want to make. And I said about my, in my About Me video, I was going to talk about that. But I'm also going to talk about that here as well. So, <sighs> all right. These are just test videos. My my purpose was to just talk unscripted, so I'll just I'll just relax for a second. And um no. <laughs> I can hear myself say um like every two seconds. And so fluoride. A lot of my friends and a lot of my family hear me talk about fluoride all the time. I'm gonna be putting out some videos about fluoride with some of my favorite posters, some of my favorite um, links and sources. A really great documentary I wanted to share is called um, The Culling. You can type in The Culling or The Culling of Our Water. Go on YouTube. I'll leave a link below. Uh, but I will be doing another another video talking about that. A big thing you may have noticed is aspartame. I'm, I'm not really sure how that came into being. I'll probably tell you a story about it, but it was really, you know, sometimes you just happen to be looking up something and it gets stuck in your head and you just memorize how to spell it and then you kind of see it everywhere. So really after I learned about aspartame, I just kept seeing sugar-free shit everywhere. I just kept seeing people drink diet soda and and they would just constantly be like, oh, I have a headache right after, that's so strange. And it just, it would trigger all that information. I, uh, I'll tell these stories after, but I actually, I had to stop harassing people in grocery stores and randomly point at them. Yes! You! That is diet soda! Do you know what is in that? That's really annoying. I don't want to be like like that invasive with my energy. And I've, I've been told by some of my friends that I kind of approach things with them. Um, actually, my father used to say I approach things with a sledgehammer mentality. And I, I really shouldn't. Both of my parents... Um, we're in the military and uh, the Navy and they don't even approach things with such a militant attitude and you know I think even if I was a vegan I wouldn't be uh, what everybody thinks as the stereotypes like any other stereotype things get stereotyped and I talked about this somewhat before that I don't think I have the discipline to be a vegan but I've always talked about uh, how much I I admire cows, um, like I admire dogs, or a lot of animal spirits I admire, and my father's favorite animal is a cow, and he hasn't eaten for, for other reasons than it just being his favorite animal, there's a few reasons why he hasn't eaten red meat, uh, cow or pig, in uh, over 20 years, so. I'm a really shit shot, so a lot of this footage is just really crappy. But I had fun with some of it, and the purpose of these videos, excuse me, the purpose of these videos, I like lost my breath there for a second. Um, the purpose of these videos is that I just, I might get like a really, really fun couple of minutes, and I wanted to shout out some of the players, and um, 
So if you know if you see your name in there, that's cool. And I don't know, man. What am I gonna talk about for the rest of this video? What's going on currently right now? It's October. I already said my birthday's coming up tomorrow. <laughs> and there's just so much going on in our world. And I, I talk about things here. They talk about the fluoride, the aspartame, um, nutrition, and some of our favorite foods and, you know, different things you can eat. Um, and to really be conscious of how, you know, we repair our bodies with what we put into it. You know, that's... I, I wanted to, for a while now, re-look up some old information I heard, I guess, every so many weeks so, and so many months, each, you know, each thing replaces itself, your, your cells regenerate, and it's all, all off of what you, you've eaten, you quite literally all of what you eat, but that's not just what I want to talk about. I love sci-fi, there's a lot of really far-out conspiracies that I like to think and talk about, but some things I don't even, I've, I've said before in previous videos, um, that are probably going to end up as extra footage on some of my other channels. Oh, the, I wanted to touch on that as well. Check out some of my other channels. I'll put links here below. They, they're kind of going to be something that doesn't have as much current if I don't feel like um, something is just bogging down this channel. I'll put a lot of excess clips on these other channels. I don't really care so much about constantly uploading on the other channels, even though I haven't really done that. It reflects that I haven't really uploaded much on there. I plan on some days just swinging by and just uploading video after video after video of just excess footage that used to may may have been here recently i did a i declassified some of my mental health paperwork um in my about me video i'll be talking about you know growing up and uh who i am and that i do have uh, bipolar and adhd i was diagnosed with bipolar um, at a very early age at 11 years old and i was diagnosed with adhd even earlier but I'll be speaking more about that in length and my experiences in and out of mental hospitals um, as a child and an adult. Um, in my adult life, sometimes I do really well and I go years uh, without really kind of having a meltdown and just like completely disassociating from reality and just not understanding like this this physical reality that we move through in these bodies, these flesh vehicles. It's it's really it's so much of it there's so much illusion and distraction and there there are controllers that literally work in every facet of our lives to completely distract us and ultimately they work towards a larger depopulation goal every single dollar you spend is is almost like a, a move in a game on a game board it's almost like a strategy in a war. Every dollar you spend, every piece of food you eat, everything you watch, there are a bunch of different psyops. So a lot of a lot of things that I've believed in life, um, you know, it's very hard to be taken seriously when you have a mental health background and you have, I, I went to a lot of um, mental health behavioral schools that really are more like warehousing children and I have a lot of experience in the psychiatric and you know, mental health fields, even though I'm not a professional, you know, experiences are experience one or the other. And a lot of my education came from personal experience and, and just learning the hard way over and over and over. But I, I feel like I've been to this planet many times and there are a lot of things that repeat. And these controllers, they stay within the same lives. Like they almost have a way to manipulate. They know the, the language. A lot of things I want to talk about in my videos is the controllers and the watchers, the elite, Illuminati, whatever you want to call them. Illuminati is almost like a derogatory term now, which is really, I don't even want to think of it that way because of the concept of illumination and all of the occult stuff that goes with it is almost sort of beautiful that once you start looking into it and you look, a lot of the dark stuff and disgusting things are meant to, sometimes I wonder how much of it is a psyop to turn the general public away from that sacred knowledge. You know, we want these people to think that we're, well, not not me, not me, but you know, they want us to think that they're a bunch of baby eating, you know, sick, you know, maybe they, some of them are, but again, I'll talk about this more in other videos, but um, a lot of my artwork I'll be sharing, uh, a lot of the reasons I couldn't, I have a hard time staying focused, there are so many, there's such a vast, like, it's, 
all the things that I want to do. I just, my, my attention span doesn't stay very focused. And then whenever I start building these channels, I've, I've been trying to build separate YouTube, uh, excuse me, YouTube channels and uh, projects since 2010 and I have always failed my YouTube channels because I did not stay active. I did not continue to upload content and get out my ideas ideas, and I didn't keep sharing my artwork. So there's so many different things I want to talk about, you know, food, conspiracies, my art, um, my personal life, um, ways that I've found that have helped me, ways that I feel like I can, I can help other people. Sometimes it's not about helping other people. Sometimes I just want to talk some shit. Sometimes I just want to show you my art. Sometimes it's my birthday and I want to ask you to get me something off my Amazon wish list. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not even going to actually put my Amazon wish list here. I just wanted to say that a lot of the things that I might talk about, um, not just in my videos, but my, my Twitter and my Facebook have a lot of my links if you are interested in uh, maybe getting me some art supplies, or there's a lot of books on the Amazon wish list, uh, paperback books that I want to read. So anyway, I'm running out of time here on this video, so I'm going to wrap it up I'm and wish you all well. Um, this, again, this video, please don't expect too much out of it, but it's probably... Um, it was, it's a test video, I'm testing some things out, so excuse me, this was unscripted. Just... Anyway, ha have a good day, guys, and uh, be well. And thank you for coming back to my gnarly channel. Subscribe and hopefully we can get over 100 subscribers and I can do my about me video. Alright, good day.